Today we're riding the new Hero Maverick 440 and this bike is an interesting mix of the familiar and the unknown. On the one hand, it shares quite a lot with the Harley-Davidson X440 that it's based on, but at the same time it represents uncharted territory for Hero. This is the company's most premium, largest displacement motorcycle yet. Starting with the familiar, you've got the same air-oil-cooled 440cc single-cylinder engine as on the Harley, and so you've got quite a similar riding experience as well. There's a lovely wide spread of torque all across the rev range, and you'll really enjoy picking it up at low RPMs and surfing that wave all the way to the top. There is a slight hesitation at wide open throttle at about 2000 RPM and peak torque is down from 38 to 36 Newton meters on this bike. Both of these are things that you'll feel from the saddle but they're not likely to make a big impact on your ride. What might though are the vibrations. Once past 4,500 RPM, you have vibrations begin to creep in at the handlebar. And the further up the taco you go from here, the more they intensify. Beyond 5,000 RPM, you've got significant vibrations at the handlebar, the fuel tank and the foot pegs. The only remaining smooth touch point is the seat. Nevertheless, in top gear, this still translates into a perfectly smooth 100 kph cruise. The vibes begin to creep in at about 110 and by 120, they're borderline unpleasant. Now these aren't the sort of crippling vibrations that you used to get with something like the UC Royal Enfields, but they're not the kind you can ignore either. But the engine's easygoing nature and broad spread of torque still make it a great highway bike up to 110 kph. We've already had quite a bit of content up from when this bike was first revealed. And a lot of people online seem to be upset by the fact that it gets a conventional telescopic fork, unlike the upside down unit you see on the Harley X440. And they have a point. After all, Hero's smaller, cheaper Extreme 160R gets a lovely golden upside-down fork. So why should its 2.24 lakh rupee flagship have to make do with a simple black telescopic unit? Bragging rights aside though, the actual performance of the suspension setup and the chassis package here is excellent. Ride quality is a great balance between composure and absorption, with the Maverick never feeling out of shape even when tackling undulating stretches of roads at highway speeds. At the same time, harsh stretches of road are dealt with quite well and only really poor, severe surfaces will highlight the slight firm edge of the rear shocks. The Maverick also feels far more manageable than its 187 kg curb weight would suggest and it's a predictable and easy handler too. Despite this, it does still feel like a substantial motorcycle from the saddle. You're faced with a nice wide handlebar and a sizable fuel tank sits between your legs. Room on the well-padded seat is in generous supply and your legs are placed comfortably too. Overall, the Maverick seats you in an upright and neutral position and you should have no problem spending long hours in the saddle. The fork isn't the only area where Hero has cut costs. To position the Maverick below the X440 and have it start at this 1.99 lakh rupee price tag, Hero has replaced the color TFT instrumentation with this simpler LCD display. Nevertheless, the Maverick is still quite a feature-rich motorcycle and ticks many of the right boxes. All three variants get Bluetooth connectivity, all LED lighting, a USB charger and dual-channel ABS as standard. Finally, the Maverick is offered in three variants. That WOW 1.99 lakh rupee starting price is for the base variant with wire spoke wheels which you want to avoid. The mid variant brings in the convenience of alloys and comes in two great colours priced at 2.14 lakh rupees. And if you want eSIM connectivity and all the features that come with it, you go for the top variant at 2.24 lakh rupees, which also gives you machined finish on the wheels and the engine. This is very competitive pricing that places the Maverick on par with the slower, smaller, less feature-rich, but incredibly charming and popular Royal Enfield Classic 350. More importantly, it undercuts the likes of the Triumph Speed 400 and also starts 40,000 rupees lower than its Harley cousin. In summation, the Maverick is a good motorcycle but an even better deal. Its Harley cousin is a little more polished and premium, but the Maverick gives you a largely similar experience from the saddle for a great deal less money, while only missing out on a few of the fancy frills.